Hey guys, somebody asked me to do a quick example of calculating the rate of change of flux, magnetic flux, and induced EMF. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Let's imagine I have a, a bar magnet with a north side and a south side, and a coil of wire that maybe connects up to a voltmeter or something like that. Okay, boom. And I'm interested in calculating the magnitude of the EMF induced in the coil when the magnet moves. So let's say the magnet moves with some speed, I guess, and uh, it produces a field in the coil. So there's a field here, something like that. It's a dipole field. If we just need an estimate of an approximate value for the EMF, we can just assume the field doesn't change that much over the cross-sectional area of that coil, in which case the flux is simply the magnetic field strength times the area, right? Now the magnetic field strength from a dipole is going to be mu zero over four pi, and then it's going to be twice mu over x cubed, where x is the distance, say, between the magnet and the coil. And i got to multiply that by the area of the coil, something like that. That's going to be the flux. So, but the question is, um, what happens when the magnet moves? So let's say I could define, I could calculate the flux at point one as the field when x is equal to x1, and then the flux when x is equal to x2, it's the same thing, except now it's uh, using different value of x, x2 cubed times a, and of course the EMF is going to be the rate of change of the flux, so that's going to be phi 2 minus phi 1 divided by delta t, the time over which the flux changes. In other words, the time over which x changes from x1 to x2. Now, the other thing I can do here, let's see, is to um, figure out which way the EMF is going to go. I'd use Lenz's law for that. Since the magnet's moving to the right, the magnetic field is getting bigger and the flux is pointing to the left. So the induced EMF is going to want to produce a flux in the opposite direction. So the induced EMF wants to produce a current that goes down in this side of the wire and up in the other side of the wire. In other words, looking at the coil, it's if I'm looking at the coil, from the magnet's perspective, the current is going to flow in the clockwise direction in this picture. Okay. So that answers that question. And then, of course, oh, this EMF, that's the EMF in one turn of the wire. To get the EMF in the whole coil, I've got to multiply by n, the number of turns in the wire. So uh, anyway, that's the idea. I hope that helps. You can actually calculate this numerically if you want to, but that's the basic idea.